This is the plaintiff, Miss Henry. She says she rented an apartment from the defendant, and while she was there, her daughter broke her arm after tripping on a pothole on the property. She sued the management company, and they canceled her lease in retaliation. Now, she's having a hard time getting all her security returned from the defendant. She caused no damages. She refuses to be ripped off, and is suing for $350, the money she still owed. This is the defendant, Ray. She says the management company refused to rent to the plaintiff after she filed an injury lawsuit against them. And she had no choice but to cancel her lease. Meanwhile, there were $6,000 worth of repairs needed on the unit when the plaintiff vacated. And the woman should have left well enough alone. Because if anyone's owed money today, it's certainly not the plaintiff. She's accused of being unfair. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $2,042.25 for additional repairs. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff says when she was living in the defendant's place, her daughter broke her arm on a pothole. She filed a lawsuit against her, and now the landlord's retaliating. But the defendant says, yeah, she kicked the plaintiff out after she got sued. What do you expect? It's the case of the lease that went to pothole. Thank you, Douglas. Okay, Ms. Henry, you are suing Ray for $350 that you say is owed to you in the balance of a security deposit that has been retained. You have a counterclaim against her for $2,042 in additional damages now that she's taking you to court that you want her to pay. All right, what's going on? So I rented the apartment from, from her um, August of 2014. How long did you live there? Three years. Okay. And you live there with your daughter? My daughter and my husband. And your daughter's how old? She's now eight, but at the time she was like about five. Okay. So you turn over the place on what day? So I turn over the place on July 31st. So you get there and look at it and what was wrong? Why didn't she get her whole security deposit back? Um, first of all, um, when I gave her the unit, I had gotten it professionally cleaned, the carpet. She did not get a professional carpet cleaning afterwards. I had to pay for that myself and the lease requires. Well, were the, was there something wrong with the carpet? Yes, it had staining um, in various spots, especially right in front of her couch in the living room and next to her bed in the master bedroom. Okay. Um, in addition, the dining room area, it's all carpeted per the co-op rules, but because you're gonna be putting a dining room table in the dining room, I provided a rug that's approximately eight by eight feet in the dining room on top of the carpeting. So this rug, you would put your dining room table and chairs on top of, and this was adhered to the carpeting. How did that adhere to the carpeting? Yeah. It was there before, before I so moved in. So it was in. adhered before you moved in? Yes, tables. Probably something in the, in, the, in the rubber of the bottom of that carpet, but in any event, okay, so the carpet was adhered. What it's, else was wrong? Yeah. There is a cabinet in the kitchen and the bottom part of the cabinet is peeling back. And the contractor explained to me when we did a walkthrough while she was still living in the unit that her toaster oven on the counter must have been causing this cabinet to Do you peel. have a picture? I have a picture of the peeling cabinet. Yeah. Yes. Let me see that because, you know, having a toaster oven on a counter should be expected. She's using the kitchen the way it's intended to be used. She didn't right. misuse the kitchen if the toaster oven burned the thermofoil. Right. Um, what else was wrong? Um, the curtains in the master bedroom, the blackout lining was ripped, torn, melted. I don't know exactly what happened to them. After she got the security deposit check minus the $350, she texted me saying that she agreed she ruined the curtains. Um, therefore, What she happened? You washed them? No, it's not. I just washed them, but I could understand that if she said, but the okay, thing is- Okay, and how much were the curtains? Um, I have a receipt showing what it would cost me to repurchase. What you're entitled to in court is the value of the depreciated item at the time of the loss. So again, do you have a receipt for the original curtain that was damaged? No, I do not. Right, okay, I got it. And uh, how long were those curtains in there? Um, I purchased them at the end of 2007. So I would say November, December 2007. Okay, so a 10 year old curtain. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, what else was ruined? Um, she also repainted the second bedroom, which my contractor charged me $780 to repaint. 
she never received my written consent. To Did she receive your oral consent? Um, I do not recall. I recall having a conversation with her that she told me she had painted the bedroom. I do not recall giving her consent to paint it. Did you ask permission to paint the bedroom? Yes, she said, make it your home. That's what she said to me. And then when Does I- Does that sound like something you'd say? It could be, yeah. yeah. She but, sounds but, very indignant about this part. Did yeah. you read your lease that says that you have to have written permission to alter, including paint? No. Yeah, I nobody does. I want everybody within the sound of my voice to stop whatever they're doing right this second. Put your hand down. I'm sorry. You're the person I'm telling it to, <laughs> and you're thinking about what you're going to say. All right? Listen to me. Every lease has that standard message, that standard clause, that you cannot have a pet without written consent paint without written consent, blah, blah, blah. So you get comfortable and you call your landlord and you say, hey, can I have a pet? Or hey, can I have a, and they say yes. And then they come to court and they say they never said yes. Even if you have permission, you still have to restore it to the condition you got it in. Why would a room cost $700 to paint? I guess I have a And then if it contract. did, why would you return all but 350 to her? So if the tenant makes changes, that really looked pretty, but didn't get the landlord's permission. Is that a defense? Um, no, not at all. I would not think Even that. if it's prettier, objectively prettier. Well, you're, you're, you're renting. You don't own it. It's not your place. Fair point. What do you say? I don't think you can be objectively prettier. It's all subjective. That's true. I got caught, didn't I? Mm, going inside the courtroom. You know why? Because she was a good tenant during the whole time. She always paid her rent on time. I have no problems with her. All right, let's, take, let's keep going through the other things. What else did she ruin? I also had to replace three PVC caps on the balcony fence. Okay, what happened to those caps? Um, I've been on that balcony like four times and twice she was there with me. I've never used the balcony. Well, um, I don't I have, care if you used the balcony. I have a yeah, yeah, I, but my question is what happened to the caps? Her thing, she did not charge me for it right here. And Look, what have you got there? Let me see that. Do you have a picture of what you're talking about? I have a picture of what the new caps look like on okay, the Okay, are these the caps? Oh, I gotcha. All right, and that was not something, when you yeah. sent her the letter saying why you were keeping some of the deposit, you never said anything about, oh no, you did. I mentioned Replace it. Replace two cracked PVC caps, no charge. Yeah, again, I decided Repair not to charge Repair dining before. room carpet inexplicably bonded to dining room rug. So in your memo to her on why you're keeping 350, you don't say anything about the rest of the carpet being uh, disgraceful. What you say is the only issue, the only mention of carpet was forty-five dollars for the bonding thing. Right. That's um, the part to me that was the worst part. One hundred and sixty-five for the cabinet. Okay, spackle and painting master bedroom door. Do you have a picture of that? No, I do not. I, I was just trying to get this apartment ready I as know, soon as possible. I know, but I can't. I can't estimate. You know what I'm saying? Like it's now an issue. She is challenging you on it, and you're unprepared to to accept a challenge. Do you have pictures from before and after of this apartment? I just have pictures of the wall and the bathroom. Okay, before you moved in, yes, or before when I moved you moved in. in. So, okay, so you have 2017 and 2014. Let me so see. So this is. 14. Okay. And then this is when I moved out. So that Got is it. how I left the apartment. Okay. All right. So this is how it looked when you moved in? With yes. the patch and no paint on top of right. it and that big crack? All over the apartment. That's a big crack. Yes. What's that about? I'm sorry. I can't see those pictures. I'm going to bring people. them right to you. Go ahead and show these to her, please. Yeah, Just. it looks kind of bad, right? Um, I honestly do not recall that from three years ago. I'm not going to dispute it. These are her pictures. Right. I mean, I'm seeing that she, you know, look, you don't have to pay for her to beautify the place, mm -hmm. but there are um, things that are normal wear and tear and there are things that are neglect. Right. Um, but I think some of the stuff is petty. The, yes. I, the irony, though, is that the stuff that isn't petty isn't even stuff that she originally talked about. But when you choose to come to court, you open up the whole world again for litigation on what was and wasn't. A problem. I'm not asking for anything excess. I'm just asking her to be fair. No, I understand. And what I've got to do is I've got to look at these and figure out whether either in the things she originally asked for, or the things that she later asked for, there is stuff that you would be responsible I for. I have text messages between the both of us. Let me she see told those. me that all the things that she claimed for, that it wouldn't be my, my problem, and that when she came and visit, uh, visit the place, it was in very good condition. Let me see it. These, t these texts are when in time. I have a text message between the both of us Oh, it's here. before you moved out. Judge, I have a complete set of our text messages. Just messaging. keep in mind that the apartment's supposed to look like it did when you first moved in, with some minor expected wear and tear. 
I'm going to look at it as a whole. So some things like the bathtub will probably look nicer than when you moved in. See, Judge, I, I was trying to, like, help her out. I'm trying to not take money from her security deposit. Um, that's why I only took out 350 But now that she's dragging me into court, well, I, then I, think I, you I will, do Once want to she recover. drags you into court, you have a right to talk about everything. I have no problem with that. So stains on the carpet, especially in the front of the couch, I consider wear and tear. I mean, that's the essence of wear and tear. And that wouldn't be something she would have to pay for. The cabinet kitchen, for sure, is not something she would have to pay for if it happens by having a toaster oven on a counter, which is an expected use. The curtains, you know, do you have a picture of the damage to the curtains? Or, you know, can you prove up what you're saying was wrong with the curtains? Because that's no, something No, but you she have... admitted to it in text messages. She admitted she... she washed it. What was it? She, she admitted. The t- show me the text message where, she, where you talk about that damage. The kid's bedroom, my concern is what she's saying, which is if you tell her, look, I'm going to paint it over again, don't worry about it. Okay, she didn't worry about it. So she wouldn't have had the opportunity to bring it back to where it was. And that's kind of where we left off. What else do you say is wrong with the place? The the taping, spackling, painting because of holes in the walls. No, she had so many, and I, and I spoke to her about these things, and she's like, oh, yeah, I know, I did this, or oh, the, the person before. Right. I think right. that what they're talking about when, I mean, I don't think this is, she doesn't even recognize this. Did you have this Oh, fit? prior tenants she. had a bookshelf against that. Right, and but I this isn't oh, what you're charging yeah, well, her for. Well, no, oh, I'm not charging for that, no. What, is the, I what did, are the taping, spackling, you really, in the future... I, you're not an attorney, right? No, I'm an. I. You are I'm a retired attorney. attorney. You're a retired attorney. It's the best kind of attorney. You're a retired attorney. You know, I mean, come on, take the pictures of all this. You know, because right. I mean, it's always going to be contentious when you keep somebody's money. I know. The problem was she wanted to move in on August no, um, first. Well, no, t- you know how long it takes. You have a telephone, right? How long does it take to take pictures? It takes one second. Right. And you re- no, tell your true. realtor to take pictures, so that a judge can see the difference between how you turned it over and how it have been turned back over to you. Okay, now this is, the only thing I agree with is the curtain because I washed them and it caused damage. Oh, well, I'm, you don't need much more about that. I am giving you the opportunity to return my $270 deposit. What does that mean? Because I was like, okay, you can't have the money for the curtain. I don't think I'm responsible for the curtain. If you have a curtain up for 10 years, it's supposed to be washed. If, if okay, a- just stop a second. Okay, the damage to the cabinet was there. I sent you a picture of it in earlier emails. Do you have those earlier emails? No, I took the picture, okay, but I Okay, the carpet I don't. was given to me with the carpet emails, bonded to it. But How I have can a I be okay shh, with you charging me for damages, then telling me you are a lawyer? You should know better then. I, start, I will start the process. You can start yours. I will always stand up for myself and what is right, not because I am a black woman. What did you say? You're not because I am a black woman. That does not mean I am stupid. What does that mean? Because I felt like... When I, the way how she gave me the apartment with the bathroom not clean and well, everything, why, I why, feel like why, it's because. Uh, I know, but why would you like inject race into that? Like, did she ever say anything that offended you? The way how she treat me, I feel like because I'm a black okay, woman, well, she I, I don't me. see where that anywhere in all these texts or anywhere else came up. I mean, and that, it, that like, it doesn't need saying, so don't say it. Yeah, but she's telling me I'm a lawyer. You can't, you well, can't you're lawyer. trying to intimidate she's trying to, me. Wait a minute, hold on. When, when, when we mm-hmm. lawyers say yes. we're a lawyer, we're trying mm-hmm. to bully you. Red. But we don't care whether you're white, black, red. Or you, it doesn't matter to us. We're just trying to bully you into our position okay. of thinking. Well, she has, has no nothing right to, to do me. with your race. Okay. Honestly, I felt that she was trying to bully me into just giving her the $270. Maybe. That's why I said, I don't care. I'm used to being in court. What else is no? Well, I'm not. Okay. Everybody stop. Were there any other damages that we didn't talk about? The only thing we didn't talk about is uh, various light bulb replacement. I gave you the receipt for the attic fluorescent light bulbs. Um, and three other light bulbs around. I know it sounds ridiculous. It does. They're, they're a little more than. To return you know, the lady. Retur- I'm going to order bulbs. you to return part of what you kept. I'm ordering you um, to return $270 to the plaintiff. That's my judgment. Thank you. So the plaintiff gets $270. Ray, the defendants just come out. What do you think? Was it worth fighting this in court, do you think? I would rather fight it in court and pay her after court than just pay her after her threatening text to me. So, yes, it was worth it. Okay. It was a big battle there. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> I guess over, so. Not much money. Right. Thank you very, very Thank much. You. you must sign a few documents. Here comes Ms. Henry. Hello. You feel vindicated now? Well, I, I feel good. Not because she's a lawyer. That doesn't mean that she's above the law. And stand up for your rights. That's just my thing. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. 
Harvey, stand up for your rights. Okay, I want to reiterate this, that even if you think something is materially nicer by making the change, it doesn't matter. You have to get the landlord's permission and get it in writing, because if the landlord denies it, you're screwed. So get it in writing before you touch a paintbrush or a hammer.